Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing a Buckeye Hydro Pro reverse osmosis water system, so stay tuned. Why did I buy an RO system for my garage brewery? There were a few reasons. The first reason is I wanted to make my brew days as easy as I could. I wanted to eliminate the need of driving to the store and buying 15 to 20 gallons of distilled or spring water for the beer I was brewing. The second reason includes I'm starting to get into creating water profiles and I wanted to make sure that I started from a clean slate. We all know water is probably the most important ingredient in brewing beer and I wanted to make sure that I started with really good water. So let's get started with this install and review. There are a ton of choices for RO water systems, but I decided to purchase the Buckeye Premium System for around $120 based on the feedback I read about this product and the responses I received from the company. With a few additional add-ons, including the dual inline TDS meter to measure the feed water and outgoing RO water, and a float valve that shuts off the system when a specific water level is met, this purchase totaled $218. Quick tip, check with your local water authority to see what kind of disinfectant is used for your water. I found I did not need to add the chloramine filter due to how my water plant treated the water. The installation of the TDS or Total Dissolve Solids meter is pretty straightforward. I attached the meter right on the RO system. I then attached the Quick Connect T to the incoming water supply and then added another Quick Connect T to the outgoing hose. I then added the outgoing and incoming sensors for the TDS meter. With this meter, I'll be able to monitor my RO water quality and eliminate any guesswork when replacing filters. Next, I placed the outgoing hose into my drain pipe and then hooked up the water supply. Firing up the TDS meter for the first time indicated I have 92 solid parts per million going into the system. When I switched to see the output, the meter reads exactly what I was hoping for, zero. Here's a look at the water volume coming out of both the discharge and the RO water lines. I produced two gallons of RO water an hour. I didn't have a chance to install the float tube yet, but I'll attach it to the inside of my kettle for brew days. After running the filter for two hours, I read 108 parts per million for the input and still zero for the output. The bucket on the left is five and a half gallons of wastewater from an hour of use. The bucket on the right is four gallons of RO water from two hours of use. That wraps up my install and review of the Buckeye Hydro Pro Reverse Osmosis System. First off, I really like the system. It seems to be made of good quality and I really like the support and guidance I received from the Buckeye company. A couple takeaways. The first takeaway is that I was supposed to be able to make 100 gallons of RO water a day. From what I'm seeing, I'm only going to be able to create about 48 gallons. That's more than enough for my needs, but I was hoping to create more RO water in a shorter time period. I reached out to the Buckeye company about my test results, and they were quick to send me a link to a conversion calculator to see how much my 100 gallon system could convert in a day. Water pressure and water temperature plays a part in how much water is produced. After applying my water temperature and water pressure, I'm in line with what's expected of my RO system. If I need to produce RO water in a shorter time period, I can purchase a booster pump to increase my RO water production. The second take takeaway is you do use a lot of water when converting water into RO water. From what I was seeing, for every two gallons of water I create, I'm discarding five or six gallons. I think that's a little wasteful, so I plan on using that water for my cleanup water or watering plants in my yard. If you haven't already, make sure to check out some recent videos I uploaded from Brew Days. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.